couple of a couple of other things I've done in the back of my little investigator here. This uh, outboard bracket had a lot of lateral movement. It's a big solid bracket, but I put on this solid bar here, stainless steel bar. It's completely stopped the lateral movement and much more secure. Underneath here, I'm just trying a little a little plate, anti-cavitation plate. Sometimes the motor would suck in uh, water on a rough beam C if I was motoring and couldn't sail for some reason. And it seems to work really well. It hasn't cavitated this trip at all. And it stops this board here digging in the water and spraying up the salt water on all your electrical connections on your, on your motor here. It's always soaked in salt water. I didn't like that. Another thing I had a trouble with was I jumped over the back of the boat in the lake, flat, calm and anchored, and I couldn't, I couldn't board. I couldn't mount the boat again using the little steps in the transom. It was useless. So I put on a boarding ladder and I still could hardly get on. I put my knee in the bottom rung and mount the boat again. And I think these things about safety, safety harnesses and that, you'd have to have a three metres long to get up the bow of the boat. It's not going to keep you on board. It's going to, you'll have to hang over the side of the boat. So it's going to be long enough to get round to your boarding ladder. And I don't know if I'd get on again. I'm just not sure about these safety harnesses and safety ropes. It's probably a good topic. But uh, there's Secret Cord. We're having a lovely time here. And um, Lizard Island. So go ashore and have a nice walk.